Harper Hay Reservoir and Ponds is situated in Manchester and is only two miles from the city centre. It is a series of water bodies which supports a wealth of aquatic flora and fauna and has been designated a site of biological importance. The upper reservoir is botanically rich with abundant water horsetail, spiked water milfoil and yellow water lily. Around the edge of the water, plants such as branch burreed, water plantain and marsh wormwood also occur. Several species with a limited greater Manchester distribution have been recorded, such as greater spearwood, frogbit and water soldier. There are also invasive species present, such as Canadian pondweed and Himalayan balsam, which occurs abundantly around all the reservoirs. The southern and lower reservoirs support many other species. Birds including moorhen, coot, mallard and tufted duck are all present on the site, and there are occasional visits from a kingfisher. The edges of the ponds hold plants such as purple loosestrife, bulrush, yellow flag iris, lesser spearwort and greater willow herb. The lower reservoirs also hold good numbers of dragonflies, including banded demoiselle, emperor and broad-bodied chaser. In July 2011, this site was chosen to host a bio-blitz. On the evening of the 15th, mammal traps were set up around the area and a number of people helped to do a moth survey through the night, including some local experts. In the morning, members of the public and wildlife enthusiasts started to record as many species as they could, even if it meant trying to avoid the rain. Well, bio blitters are a great opportunity to record as many species as you can at a site, and it usually takes place over a 24-hour period. The site that we're at today is Harper Hay Reservoirs and Ponds, which is a, an urban site in Manchester, um, which is brilliant because we can engage the local communities to come down to the site, look at what we have, see the species that are recorded there, and in many cases people don't realise what they have on their doorstep. So it's a great way to highlight the importance um, of an urban site in the, in the context of biodiversity. Harper Hay Reservoirs and Ponds are a site of biological importance um, so there's already means there's a lot of wildlife here which is important to the area because we're very close to the centre of Manchester it's a built up urban area it's a fairly deprived area so it is really fantastic for the local people to have all this wildlife on their doorstep and we've recorded some uh, very interesting things over the last few days we, We've had a young tawny owl calling last night that was heard whilst people were recording moths. Uh, during the daytime we've, we've had a, quite an interesting selection of dragonflies and damselflies. We've had emperor, brown hawker and uh, a few other things as well. Um, there's been quite a good selection of birds here as well. This morning we did the survey. We had uh, white throat, black cap and chiff chaff all singing and uh, there's been quite a few mammals uh, caught on the site as well. We've had bank vole, we've had wood mouse as well, so there's an amazing variety of things here on this site, right close to Manchester city centre. So I put out a total of 30 traps last night, um, I had to consider the weather and things. We had 10 trip traps, the plastic ones, so we kept those to the sort of more meadow at the edge of the river, um, and we had 20 up near Pond 6 and up amongst the balsam and sort of shrub to woodland over there. So we caught one bank vole down by the edge of the water, which you'd kind of possibly expect. So we might have caught that actually close to this morning, really close to when we checked them, maybe, um, as they kind of active during the day. Um, and that was one out of ten, and that's not too bad. Sometimes the plastic ones are particularly bad anyway. So the longworths were what we were hoping for a better haul, and four of them tripped, two of those were false, and um, that happens, that could, they could have got out again, slightly um, linked to the weather and things like that, or it could have just been slugs or something. Um, but then we got two wood mice as well, and that's what we'd probably have expected to get. Certainly four out of the 20, it's not a massive haul compared to absolute perfect woodland, you just expect sort of 50% almost wood, um, wood mice sometimes, but then the weather, you know, you're thinking, well, uh, they sort of hunkered down a little more, especially as it's been wet. You know, they would have been quite active probably early in the week and things like that. Um, maybe they just hunkered down a little, not, move, not moving as much. Well, this is my first trip to this site, and uh, I'm really quite impressed. Um, and, and it's interesting uh, that it's different from uh, the sites that I'm familiar with in South Manchester. And I'm particularly impressed with these ponds. Um, this uh, display of this yellow water lily is absolutely gorgeous and of course 
we've just spotted um, greater spearwort on the other side which is uh, rather wonderful which I, I, it's a flav favorite plant of mine and it's always nice to see it um, I've also noticed um, um, a nice pond um, duckweed in here the, with the, the one with the large fronds and that's that's very nice to find as well when the rain finally stopped and the sun came out a number of butterfly species were recorded and it even inspired a local artist to paint some of the species she found, including Red Admiral and Comma. At the end of the day, the moths which were caught during the night were released, allowing the public to admire the wonderful colours and patterns of them. People of all ages were able to get hands on and up close to nature during the bio blitz. From pond dipping to looking through a microscope, members of the public could get involved with nature right on their doorstep. We've been looking at the results from the Harp Hay BioBlitz. This was the first time that we had so many recorders come together on a single day at this site. And we had volunteers, experts and local enthusiasts involved in the recording. There were over 250 species recorded so far based on the records that we've received. But the records are still coming in and we expect there to be over 300 species eventually that would have been recorded on the day which is pretty impressive really considering how appalling the weather was for most of the day. We carried out an amphibian survey back in May and common frog and two species of newt were, were found in the ponds. There was also a bat survey carried out on the Friday night and two species of bat, common pipistrelle and dorbentons were found. Uh, we do think that given the habitat on the site there will be more species of bat found so we're intending to run a further survey later on in the summer. The Ecology Unit have been analysing the data to see whether or not we can extend the boundaries of the current site of biological importance. But for us the, the key importance really for this BioBlitz is about engaging the public. It's about making them aware of the wildlife that is on their doorstep and getting them to take a greater interest in the, the amazing variety of nature that occurs in Manchester. One thing is certain that has been realised by members of the public and local experts after doing this bio blitz, that although many people think of Manchester as a concrete jungle, there is space for nature even here, and sometimes you never know what you might turn up on your own doorstep.